Welcome back to the tool crib. Today, we're gonna go over how to use the wire stripping functionality on different multi-tools, uh, namely the two most popular brands, Leatherman. Uh, for, then, for that one, I have the Leatherman Wave Plus, and then for Victorinox, uh, which I was pointed, it was pointed out to me by one of my subscribers who emailed me that uh, let me know that, that uh, I have been doing the wire stripping functionality completely wrong on Victorinox for a very, very long time. So I want to get that corrected and let people know. And what he says actually makes a lot of sense. So first of all, let's do it with the Leatherman Wave. We're going to be using uh, 12 gauge stranded THHN for this. And so what we want to do first, and the way I do this is I'll take the notcher which is located in here. Now with the Leatherman, it has a V notch that allows you to actually score the insulation. So it's a little cumbersome if you're trying to hold this out and just trying to push your thumb against the wire, especially when you're working with smaller wire, you just really can't do it very effectively. The most effective way that I found to strip insulation off of a wire when using a Leatherman tool, especially the combination tool that comes in most Leatherman multi-tools, is to get it open, close up the handles, and then you wanna release it. You wanna set the wire inside of that notch, then you'll be able to hold the handle closed. And with thumb pressure, now you can push that against the insulation. And then you can take the tool and score it. Uh, you can score the insulation by wrapping the tool. Now that I've got it scored a little bit, what I wanna do is I wanna take it up on an unscored portion of the wire just to get a grip on it. And then you can pull it out. Now, that one was a little tough. This, this uh, 12 gauge is a little strong, but uh, it does a pretty effective job. And you can see that it does not score the wire at all. Now let's try this same thing with the Victorinox. And I'm gonna use the cutters on my modified surge to cut these because they just cut a little bit cleaner with those EOD cutters in them. Now with the Victorinox, I've seen a lot of different methods. Uh, people trying to take this one, uh, take the wire and they'll kind of try to collapse it, uh, open up the knife blade, kind of set it in here, collapse the knife against it. This might work in a two layer knife to be able to score around the wire. It doesn't work very effectively once you get over two layers though, you get in three and four layer knives and the knife is so far separated from this piece that it just doesn't, you, you can't really get a very accurate cut. I've also seen it where they'll put it in the void like this, take the knife. Now this is a little easier to operate to be able to score it around, but it's not intended to work in that fashion. So the way this is supposed to work, you'll just take your normal knife blade and I'm gonna cut it a little higher than when I actually scored that little piece right there. You'll go around your wire and get it scored, and then you'll close this back up, and then you can take your wire stripper, and then you can kind of bend the wire, just set the stripper so that it's on the insulation, then you can kind of bend the wire over, and then use the stripper to pull the wire out, and then that creates your strip. Uh, so I've been doing this wrong or incorrectly with a Victorinox knife for a long time. Uh, the, the difference here is that this piece or this notch does not have a cutting edge on it. So it's not designed to score the wire. It's only meant to create uh, a, a pinch point in order to get a good grip on the insulation once it is scored with the knife blade. And that makes perfect sense. Now with the Leatherman, uh, because it has the V notch in it and it has it, it's sharpened to one side, it allows you the ability to both score and to pinch it in the same fashion as we did before, where I'll score it and then I'll come up on the insulation just a little bit to grab it and then be able to pull it off and it works pretty effectively. So those are the differences between the wire stripping functionality on Leatherman products and Victorinox products. This is especially useful or, to, or useful to, a useful bit of information to have if you have a Victorinox knife that doesn't include a pair of pliers because it would probably be easier on those models that do include pliers just to pull the pliers out, give it a little twist and pull it off. But the wire stripping functionality, when used in that, uh, in that way, works pretty well actually. So I wanna say a big thank you to the subscriber that uh, let me know that the, how to use the Victorinox wire stripper. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.